Hey guys, um, uh, I just wanted to tell you that I lost my hamster, Alvin, and he's been missing since 9.15 this morning, or earlier, I'm not quite sure, because I woke up at 9.15 and he wasn't in the cage, but, um, now it's 2.47 in the afternoon, I'm really scared because I haven't found him yet. I literally looked under the couch, around the refrigerator, around my bed, my bed kind of sits on the bottom, as you can see. As you can see, my bed sits on the bottom, so I can't really look that way, but he's been missing. And I absolutely can't find him anywhere, and I'm really upset that I've only had him for five days, and I've already lost him. It really bothers me. But this is kind of a video to show you how you can find your hamster. I haven't found mine yet, but, um, I hope he shows up, because if he doesn't, then I'm going to have to get a new hamster and call him Alvin again, because this channel's Alvin the Hamster, or I'll just change the name or erase this account, which I really don't want to do, because Alvin was a really good friend to me, but, um, I've been crying also, because I'm really upset, because I loved him so much, the last time I, my hamster got out, I was looking for him, and, um, I did find him. But I found him dead. And I'm terrified that's what's going to happen to me. I'm going to hopefully pray about it. The Super Bowl is supposed to be coming on, so... I don't know. But, um, anyways, getting back to how to find your hamster. You might... Okay, I'm, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get the ingredients thing. Okay, sorry if that took a while. Um, you might want to get like two bowls. In this case, I don't have two really treat bowls, so I have to use this little pencil pouch. But um, I'm gonna go show you. I'm gonna go get some more stuff. Sorry, guys. So, first of all, in order to find your hamster, you get two bowls, right? Okay? And in those bowls, you can leave some of their favorite treats. I suggest, to be honest with you, I suggest probably, um, pizza. Oh, because my hamster absolutely likes it. This is just us Fiesta Max hamster or gerbil. Which, that's fine, but, um, I just picked out what he loves, so you want to be sure that you have counted every little thing that's in the bowl. You don't want to pour a bunch of food, because you're not going to know if your hamster's been there. So, what I got is I got three of his favorite, which is, like, the popcorn kernel-looking things, and he just absolutely loves these. So... I just put three of these in one in a bowl, and I put two sunflower seeds in a bowl, because those are his two favorite snacks. And I did as well in the other one. Um, if you don't know where you've lost your hamster, like my hamster's in the living room, so I will put a bowl, and my, in uh, my room, and one in the kitchen. But I'm going to go there in a minute. Um, next, you want to shut all the doors in your house, that way you can not escape whatsoever. Like, if, but if he's in one of the doors, you can hear him kind of clawing on the door. If your hamster does that, if it doesn't, then I'm sorry, because I absolutely don't know what to do, tell you. Next, you can have one of its favorite sleeping, like an igloo, anything you bought right now. I'm using a toilet, like, a tissue box, Kleenex, but... Um, you want to be sure it says that there's no dyes or fragrance, like, right here, there, there, it says no dyes or fragrance, so you want to be sure that, because if he were to bite on the box, it's not going to be too well. Anyways, 
you can definitely tell he's been in here because there's a bunch of poop. But, um, that's another way you can tell as it's poop. But you might want to put some bedding in there. And then just lay it somewhere in the room. And if that doesn't help, then get your cage. I'm not going to show you my cage. My cage is up there. You might want to open your cage, pour a little bit of peanut butter on the railing, and open it. And you can see if it comes in. Now, if you don't have a cage and you have a hamster, it's kind of weird. Just get like a little bag or a little box. I prefer bag because you can actually hear it hit the box. But put some more of the favorite treats in the in the bag. Like I said, I lost my hamster today, and I still haven't found it. And it's been five hours, and I'm really getting worried. So if I don't find them, I'll get another one. But that's, I mean, I can get another one. I'm not scared about that. The only problem is, it's sad because um, I lost my best friend, you know. Ooh, I don't want to get teary-eyed. But um, I'll be making a next video after this one. I just got to put this on here. I'll be making a next video on how to make toys. Okay, guys. Adios.